I am traumatized by this situation and moving forward, I will be doubting everything I do. I will be second guessing every edit that I make and I will most likely never feel safe from being banned again at this point. I'm scared and I'm excited at the same time. Who knows, maybe we'll just be uploading these cooking and unboxing videos and then just out of the blue, we'll get hit putting John Cena's face on the wrong body from a video two years back and just be gone from YouTube forever. Uh, forgive me, I'm extremely sick right now. I have the flu. I took a test, it's not COVID. I was browsing YouTube this morning. Um, and I saw a video from MXR Plays or Plus. Alexa, Alexa, I'm not talking to you. I swear that thing be listening to you. I, I, I don't know why I have an Alexa. Again, I'm ill. Please forgive me. I feel like crap. I probably look like crap. I'm not going to lie and say I'm a huge fan of MXR, but I've watched their content. You know, whenever I see it recommended, I click and I enjoy what they make. Uh, they made a video called We're Leaving MXR Place. And I was like, okay, let me click on the video. Let me watch it. And TLDR, it's about how they now have to migrate from their main channel to their second channel because they've been dished out and handed out strikes. And it just kind of led me to want to make this video for no apparent reason. I just want to ramble. I just want to talk. Talking is something I like doing. Like talking is something I like to do. Let me move this leaf out of the way. Sorry, it's a bit. So I, I have a plant right there. I, I can't really. <laughs> uh, I guess that's the best we can do right here. As an unknown fledgling YouTuber, I always find these kind of testimonies horrifying. Um, if this were to happen to me or any other small tuber, we'd be suspended from participating in the marathon before we could even start. We don't have a fruitful second channel to fall back on. We don't have a Patreon. You know, we don't have a wider support network. We're just gone. I never would have thought this would happen to MXR and for sure thought if it had to happen again, it would be because of sexual slash inappropriate content as Henry stated in the video even with fail safes put in place i mean henry spoke about how he has this like sheet that all his editors need to oblige by or to grammar i don't know what grammar is and they go through this list or at least they are now just so they don't run the risk of upsetting the youtube shadow bot i don't know what we call this thing it's clearly a bot it's not human beings i'm not saying it's never human beings but come on like let's be real brother got a strike for putting gordon ramsay's face on a shorty's body bro gordon ramsay's face on a shorty's you for real can you get that could you get out the way bro i'm trying to thanks no, I'm sorry for bumping you, but next time get out of the way, okay? <laughs> you remember again a few months back, the act man put a pickle in someone's mouth? I'm not going to say that someone because I have 400 subs. I'm not trying to get deleted by that man. A pickle? Really? A pickle. YouTube could severely benefit from being more open and communicative. Did I say that right? They're way too ambiguous and cryptic when dishing out strikes or punishments. It leaves creators feeling confused and vulnerable, unsafe, as if they have to walk on eggshells or if they're walking on thin ice. Knowing that with one false move, one misunderstanding, you're falling through and into the cold depths below along with your whole livelihood gone forever i don't know what job i would want to have if i felt like i had to tiptoe in the workplace i don't know what kind of job i'd want to keep if i knew that one human error just one little mistake that i made would lead me into the boss's office and i'm getting a scolding i'm getting a strike with the pretense that I get two more, I'm out. I'm gone. No pension. You know, no, 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 no pay. I'm out on the streets. Get a, get a new job. I think we can all agree that there's an apparent difference between someone 
who is actively and willingly breaking TOS, uploading harmful or um, problematic content, if you will, compared to someone, again, who just made an innocent mistake. They just overlooked something. It happens. Human error. Let me clean my glasses first. How about I do that? So blocking my mouth with the, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm such an idiot, bro. H human error is, is a thing that exists. Uh, none of us are perfect. If you are, please let me know. Jesus would like to know too. Uh, none of us are perfect. And to think that you could be punished so severely for essentially being human, it's, um, it's crazy. YouTube need a system where a channel can be in good standing if it's followed the guidelines to a T for years to where instead of a strike, it's a, hey, we found something wrong with one of your videos. This is the part of the video in question. We privated it for now. Here's what you can do. You can remove the video. You can edit out the segment that we don't like anything but a strike. Again, to those people that are clearly violating TOS, clearly have no regard, give them a strike. But for someone like MXR, for someone like the act man, for someone like Corey, not that Corey got a strike, but the whole monetization thing, for someone who's been on your platform that has become successful on your platform, even if they're not successful, <coughs> me, um, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Imagine if you have a good employee they come into work on time every day. They do what they got to do. They do it well. They're a good worker. They're fun to be around. They're nice people. They get along with their co-workers. You know, when, it, when it's Christmas, they give you a Christmas gift to the boss. For someone that's been on your platform for years and they've been nothing but good, to just dish out a strike, to just come down on them, it just, it just, it feels wrong. It just feels a little bit wrong. I would feel a certain type of way if I worked at a job for years and I made one mistake, one little human error. And instead of my boss pulling me to the side to say, hey, Jude, you did this wrong. It's cool. You did this wrong. This is how together we're going to just correct this. No, my boss pulls me into the office and he just strike. What? Bro, like I can't make an innocent mistake. Really? And then I feel like, I need to tiptoe around the office. Tiptoe, tiptoe. I'm scared. Like a system to where it's like, hey, here's a window of time for you to edit out the segment in question. Take too long and you'll be given a strike. Here's a day to 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 amend, you know, the problem we have with this video. Here's two days, here's three days, 24, whatever. Remove the segment in question, remove the video. Or you get a strike. Wouldn't that be nicer than just strike? Again, I'm just a kid in his bedroom. What do I know? I'm sick. I have the flu. You know, I, I, I don't know how to run a billion dollar, you know, freaking video platform. I don't know how these things work. I'm just talking out of my ass. But this is just how I feel. And this is how a lot of other YouTubers feel. You know, how many of us have repeatedly asked for the option to just remove parts of a video that have been flagged up by YouTube instead of getting, you know, a monetization issue or instead of getting, you know, a strike. I would love to be a YouTuber, but it's kind of frustrating that I feel like I'll always be a YouTuber on the side. I'm studying. I'm at uni. Although I feel like I'm more passionate for content creation, I'm more passionate for just being able to make things and just upload it and to have it received to a huge audience. But to feel that it's volatile, to feel more safe and secure studying for graphic design and to potentially get a graphic design job rather than YouTube. It's like, I don't know, I could lose my, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, touch wood. I could lose my YouTube channel in a flash. Even if I do follow guidelines for how many years and I, I follow the rules and I toe the line, I make one mistake, I make three mistakes, I'm out. Mistakes, might I add, mistakes. Stay safe, MXR, it's all love. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd hate to, to see you guys lose everything you've built over all these years. It's just a, it's just a video I wanted to, I just, I just wanted to speak. 
I'm, I'm a man of many questions and concerns and I ramble a lot and but I'm sick and my head hurts and my eyeballs hurt and my sinuses are flare yeah but um I just wanted to make that video uh again we're almost at 500 subs um I just want to say thank you for the support it's amazing uh and we're gonna keep growing and we're gonna go to the top we're gonna get to the tippity top bye yeah I bye 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 Different video, not a regular video, but um, yeah, just just stuff on my mind. Thanks for the support. Get, I'm I'm just gonna end the video. I I'm so bad with goodbyes. I'm so bad. With, I always long it. I always do too much, and I always make it long and awkward. I'm just gonna hit.